Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Oh, that went everywhere. It is late morning, but I've just been getting a few things done around the house. Um, let me just turn the potty song down from Hey Dougie. Okay, you guys, I have so much to update you on. It's just like, it has been one hell of a few days. <laughs> So I'm going to let you guys know what's going on, um, just update you with everything. Um, so first things first, we are 25 weeks today and honestly I am getting a little bit nervous now because I just want to reach a point where I know everything would be okay with the baby because there's a few things that's happening that's worrying me but I kind of thought it would happen but I had the positivity of maybe it won't happen this time with this pregnancy but I do seem to be following the exact same steps as I did with Olivia so I will catch you guys up very quickly so um okay so we are on Tuesday I'm getting so confused with the days so first things first I what happened okay so first things first on Thursday is that right Thursday yeah so Liam worked last Thursday night he worked nights and it was um like we went to my granddad's Thursday morning I had to have the whooping cough jab which was fine it hurt a little bit what's new but I was fine. I felt fine. They said you might feel a bit sick. You might feel a bit um, tired and just flu like I didn't really, to be honest. I was okay. Um, I just kind of got on with it. I was sore. Like, my arm was sore. Anyway, so, come back home. We were chilling out. And we were chilling to a point because Liam had to go to work that night. So, we were just chilling out. We were having such a nice, cosy day. Just drinking tea and watching YouTube and just having a nice day together. And around 11, so I had the jab at 10 and around 11. Honestly, she loves that song. So around 11 o'clock, I was having a nice day. And around 11 o'clock, I noticed baby done something really weird but i didn't think much of it so olivia was like screaming shouting singing and it was like it made baby girl jump she kind of what i what it felt like was like she just flipped in my stomach um and i was like oh my god that was weird but i felt nothing i didn't think anything of it anyway so i was getting liam's packed lunch ready for the night um liam was asleep and i was working on my laptop and I was busy with Olivia, we were playing, and I wasn't like monitoring how much movement I was getting. Because they say, that's what they said to me, they said to me, don't monitor baby's movements until 28 weeks onwards. So I thought, okay, well I'm only 24 at the time, so I haven't really been monitoring it. But saying that, I always do think, is she okay? Um, have I had movement today, etc. But to me, I feel like I'm getting a lot of movement. In a pattern I feel like I've got a pattern with her I feel like she's got a pattern first thing in the morning she's really really active um, now she's kind of sleeping and then whenever I eat or drink or um, have dinner she's active and evening she's proper active like that's the time when I can lay down and watch my belly move with like kicks so yeah so Anyway, so it got to about five and I went to my granddad's, Liam went to work, we were staying for the night, me and Olivia, and I was sat there in the evening and I just thought like, hmm, I've just had dinner, I've had like a pudding and she's not like kicking, she's not moving, so then like my brain started focusing on her and I noticed I didn't have any movement. Um, so I thought, okay, I was reading about it, what you need to do. So I had a cold glass of orange juice. I went for a walk. I did star jumps and things like that. Um, and you know when you just know something's not right? Like you just have 
I'm very good with my body now. After having that massive infection that I had three years, nearly three years ago, sepsis and stuff, I I don't leave things, um, and I may be like come across as like annoying to people, like oh my god, she always thinks she's poorly. But when you've been that poorly, you you never want to get to that point again. So I didn't. She just kicked. Um, you never want to get to that point again. So I. I just thought, nah, something's weird. Anyway, I didn't like panic. Um, I read that if you go to bed and lay on your side, it's supposed to like get baby moving. I had nothing. All through the night, I was up every few hours trying to just see if she would do something and I was getting nothing. So I, I said to Liam, I said, right, I have the hospital tomorrow morning anyway. We've got a kidney scan appointment. So I thought I'm just gonna mention it to my midwife up there and see if I can like just drop in and just just to check, you know? I know sometimes, and you're not the only person if you ever feel like, if you ever feel like you are a burden to them, you're not. Um, because I know that I have felt, like I have felt like a bit, I have definitely felt like a bit of a burden sometimes because it's like, oh, Melissa's here again. Melissa's back up again. But, you guys, that's what they're there for. That is what they're there for. And like I said, when I've gone through something so traumatic before, I, I'm i a little bit more mindful about myself rather than what other people think. So, yeah, I rang them and I said, look, I'm coming up for a kidney scan. I've had very reduced movements for, like, the past six hours or more. And she was like, okay, well, you're not 28 weeks, so we can't really do a monitoring, but we can do the Doppler, we can listen in. And she said, that is a long time to not have movement, even at your gestation. So I was like, yeah, that's fine. So I went for my kidney scan. Haven't even updated you guys on that, but honestly, it's just been so full on here at the moment. So I went for my kidney scan, and they he was so lovely. The, the, there was an oldish man and a woman. They were so, so kind. I've never, ever experienced such a... A nice pleasant experience like that when it comes to scans and stuff it's usually right in and out but they were like talking to me asking me how I am just really checking in you know just checking in with me and I really appreciate that um, but anyway he was like look we haven't got your notes I forgot to tell you guys there's been a thing with my notes so my notes haven't transferred from up north down here for some reason and we don't know why um, I have asked a few times and it seems to be that there's been like an error with the system when it comes down So anyway, he was like look. I don't know. I can't see what's going on with you I need to look at you with the scan like I can only go from what I can see today He said I can't go by any of your notes. So tell me what's going on. I said right so when I was pregnant I developed an infection um, in my over in my fallopian tubes so i had a cyst or something in my fallopian tubes it got left because i was pregnant um i didn't know what pain was i thought oh this pain is pregnancy when it wasn't pregnancy at all it was actually me having an infection so i had an infection in my fallopian tubes that got left for months um it then traveled and turned into an abscess into my pelvis and my abdomen and then it was leaking something um it was awful like i was every time i talk about it like i feel like i could cry because it was just the worst time but anyway so i said to him that's what happened he was like, okay well tell me more i need to know so i was like yeah so it leaked into my body when i had my daughter i was in so much pain i was vomiting blood i was weak i was like my eyes were like yellow my face was pale i was I looked like I was dying and um, I'd lost two and a half litres of 2.5 litres of blood with her so I um, hemorrhaged quite bad with her and they gave me a blood transfusion twice but still I was poorly so they knew something wasn't right so anyway I was in a lot of pain and I said to him yeah so that happened went back to the hospital I got admitted back into hospital after having my daughter and that was hard because I just wanted to be at home with my baby and I couldn't um so yeah they CT scanned me 
they still didn't know what it was they knew there was something there but they didn't know what it was so it went to an mdt team which is like a specialist team that come on wednesdays i remember and they were like something's serious she's got some sort of infection but they couldn't pinpoint where the infection was so because on the ct scan they showed me and basically on in their like in that scan um on the right hand side of my body it was just like covered in a mass we they literally said the words cancer at one point and i just had a baby and i just thought what <sighs> like my life is literally over like i give up i've had a baby I've done all this to have a baby and now I'm not even going to be here to be with her like I, I was low I was very low but anyway so luckily thank god it wasn't that and I would never ever take anything like health wise for granted after hearing that you haven't got that it it's just it oh it's just awful it's just such it's awful thinking about people that go through that it's awful thinking that you could go through that it was just awful but anyway he was like wow this is this is um pretty intense and i said yeah so what they had to do with me was they could see that i had an infection but they couldn't pinpoint where it was because it was just spreading across the whole of my body so it was starting down here like in my pelvis and the doctor said that it was like working its way up so it, it was near my lungs at this point which is interesting because now when I think back, I remember not being able to breathe properly. So when I was in the flat, I remember trying to breathe just like, you know, normal when you're walking up the stairs and stuff and you're just breathing. And every time I took a breath, I felt like there was shattered glass, broken glass in my chest. That's how I can explain it because you can't explain it. It's impossible to explain. But the pain was just, Oh, it was awful. So every time I take a breath in now, like I just feel so blessed to be able to breathe properly. Because as soon as I, like that, it was just like, oh, it, oh, it was horrible. It was horrible. So anyway, I was telling him that and he said, oh my gosh, that sounds like sepsis. And I said, yep, that's what I got. I didn't know about it. I didn't even know what sepsis was. Literally thought sepsis was something to do where you, you cut yourself and then you can get blood poisoning sepsis but this was like from an infection like i had no idea how bad things could get anyway so i yes yeah, so what they had to do was they had to give me antibiotics to treat my washing machine's going off and um, what they had to do was give me antibiotics to treat the infection to bring some of the inflammation down to then pinpoint where the infection actually was so it turns out it was in my pelvic area um in my fallopian tubes so anyway so what i said to him was after being tricked for that and sorted for that the game antibiotics everything came down luckily thank god never ever will i ever take that for granted what I, them doctors did for me um and what happened was it has damaged my fallopian tube on the right which blows my mind how i'm pregnant and it still blows the doctor's mind how I'm pregnant because fallopian tubes are a vital bit of kit when it comes to getting pregnant. Um, so yeah, I have a very damaged right fallopian tube. Um, it's like very, it's scarred. I've got a lot of scar tissue, etc., around that area. And my pelvis is very sore. I get a lot of pelvic pain. Um, so anyway I said that but he said what is this to do like what happened to your kidneys and I was like basically as far as I remember everything um, it made my organs stick together they said that my organs got sticky and they had to like treat me fast in hospital by an IV line to unstick everything so I could breathe and my body could function everything was affected so my urethra tube got affected that got dilated or something or small or dilated i can't remember which meant i couldn't go to the toilet i couldn't go for a wee um and then that left me with my kidney on the right being severely pushed like pressured there was an abscess sat on like that area so it was pushing on the kidney so unfortunately 
<laughs> and to me it's a miracle but unfortunately after all of the treatment they did fix me and they got me better but they couldn't save that kidney that was it's gone so i said what's happened is i got hydronephrosis of my right kidney which is now no no use to me i have no function in that kidney at all um but i do have a good one on my left which is what he needed to check make sure everything was good he said okay i can see your kidney oh yes it's very small but it's not too small you shouldn't be worried too much he said try think of it as what you've come out and achieved and what could have been rather than being down about losing your kidney and being scarred and etc because it could have been a hell of a lot worse like i could have died um when they told me i had sepsis i i couldn't believe that i had sepsis with a baby like i look at olivia all the time and i'm just like how <coughs> it upsets me how is she i i'm just so grateful to to god for this because how is she here when i had sepsis in my body an abscess in my body the protection that a baby must have must be just so amazing to protect a baby from all of that going on and she's in that area like she's in the pelvis area so i don't know but i'm so lucky to have a child anyway so he said let's have a look at your good kidney he said yep yeah, it's good it's functioning well etc so I went up to the midwife sorry it was a long long story and i hope you're not bored but um i went up to the midwife bit and they were like okay let's check you out so they did what happened was baby oh yeah by the way on the kidney scan he said okay so let's get that crappy bit out of the way he was really funny and he said now let's have a look at your baby because you are blessed to be pregnant and i said i know i <laughs> i know i am people are shocked um so anyway I we had a look at baby and she is so far down it's unbelievable she's head down and he said she's literally snug in my pelvis and I was thinking okay okay like I remember this happening but not this early he was like don't be alarmed there could be many reasons for it and I was like yeah that's fine okay um so I went up to the midwife bit and she got the Doppler out and listened and she said she actually found it hard to find her at the time but then she got her hand and kind of went above my like pelvis bit and put like this is say my belly she put her hand here and like squeezed there and she said does that hurt and i said yeah that hurt and she was like that's the baby's head so she said she's pretty down there like she's maybe engaged like she's pretty down there and i said oh okay is that good and she said yeah but it's quite early so anyway there was a reason for the reduced movements um but it, i'll put it into a short story because it was a long story but went home everything was fine she said don't worry if you get any more reduced movements please come back so um anyway so the next day I was at home and it was our day off, Liam's day off and I was in bed and I had like this sharp pain in my leg and I was like oh cramp man this is horrible and then I was thinking I never got this with Olivia so my best friend Jade she has been through quite a traumatic time a bit similar to what I went through but Jesus a lot worse and oh, it's so sad just a lot has happened it's not my business but a lot has happened and i i mentioned it to her i said my legs um really painful um and like a little bit swollen around my feet um because of what she's gone through she told me to do like um an experiment she said you need to press your leg and see if anything like if there's an indent that stays there um and there wasn't so she was like okay everything should be fine but because i had reduced movements again and i've been getting it a lot something told me to ring them 
Now they know my history because I've had to tell them and they've got my notes, pregnancy notes, just not my health notes. Um, and they said, it could be a DVT, can you come up? So we went up, it wasn't a DVT, but it's weird because everything happens for a reason. Something, something gets you up the hospital, like something got me up the hospital for a reason, even though it wasn't a blood clot, like they thought it was, but it's weird, like my mind just knew something wasn't right. Now, I probably shouldn't have ignored this, but I just feel like, I noticed a few weeks ago, and I'm just looking around now because it's actually disappearing, which is interesting. But I noticed a few weeks ago that I'm getting flashes. I'm getting flashes in front of my eyes and like little floaters. And I remember getting that with Olivia when I was induced and I got preeclampsia. I have mentioned it and they've just said, oh, it's probably just your eyesight, you need to go and get it checked. So I kind of felt like they were just not really listening at one point so i didn't really mention it and i just got on with it but it got worse now the day that i had that swelling in my leg the floaters were so bad like i literally i, I get them now that's why i'm probably like blinking all the time but i literally had to keep going like that like it was kind of unbearable and i was getting headaches so anyway, they go up, they check, the doctor comes around, they check my blood, um, they check my leg and they say it doesn't sound like blood, blood clot because um, of so many things that they did. I was like, thank God, there was like, more, it's more like sciatica. Anyway, they were just about to send me home and this other doctor come in and she was like, hang on a minute, why is she going home? And I could hear through the curtains and I was like, oh no, I just want to go home and eat pizza. Like, I just wanted to go home. I was so fed up of being up the hospital um as you can imagine so i never i mean it's a bit in my head preeclampsia 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 but i just thought nah i'm too early like we can chill for a bit this didn't happen until like 34 5 six, 37 weeks so anyway i heard the doctor and she said no she's not going yet you need to go and check her blood pressure that is pretty high for like what it what my blood pressure is Hang on a second. We have a box. Okay, so, um, that's what I was saying. Yeah, so she was like, can you go and check her blood pressure again? They come in and check it, and the face on them, honestly, I'll never forget, like, they, their face just, they were like, so weirded out with my blood pressure. And I was like, oh, here we go. And she goes, what do you mean? And I was like, well, I remember this before, when I was pregnant with Olivia, like, I remember... My blood pressure was just going high and then it's gone medicine and I still ended up with preeclampsia. But luckily I was being induced so everything was like worked out fine. Um sorry, I'm so out of breath all the time. Um so anyway, I mentioned to him, I said, I've got like really strong like circles in my eyes. I said like what it is is like when you look a front I can see like little floaters everywhere and it's really weird um and she was like okay she goes okay well with your history your blood pressure is not where we want it to be um we're gonna do some bloods see if we can make sure we'll definitely rule out blood clocks that's apparently they, they can check like that and they said but because of your history and because your blood pressure is high she did it again because she was really confused. She did it again, but she spoke to me about Olivia. And she was asking me, like, what does Olivia like? What does she eat? What does she do? Does she sing stuff? So I was laughing. And she said, even after getting you really calm and chilled and talking about your daughter, your blood pressure is still high. She literally pulled, she like, she turned the screen away from me. And she was, she, you could see it in her face. She was panicking. So anyway, it started making me panic a bit because I was like, oh, for God's sake, please say I, I, I'm I, not having this baby right now. Because I know if you get preeclampsia, it's pretty much right, go, 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 baby's got to come out. That's how I remember it before. And she was like, go for a walk, wait for your bloods, but I want to add another blood test on. I'm going to check you for the likelihood of you developing preeclampsia. I didn't even know they could do that. So they tested me. I went for a walk and I said to Liam, I was just like, we haven't even got a hospital bag. 
we are nowhere near ready yet like we haven't got a name we haven't like we're just not ready i'm not ready like my the baby's too small and i know like we've reached the viable age but it's best to keep the baby in as long as you can i remember them telling me that anyway he was like stop panicking liam's really like he doesn't panic until something happens whereas i panic before it happens um we went back and they were like good news your um your preeclampsia test is fine you haven't got a blood clot all of your bloods are fine because i like them to check me for infections after what happened um but she said i'm going to give you a libitolol and i was like that's what i was on before um they gave me that and within like an hour my blood pressure had come right down to like 114 which was perfect but my blood pressure before was 157 and i was just like okay i don't really understand that she went that's high over 90 something she was like that is concerning like we would have admitted you if that didn't have come down so they've given me libitolol and there we go there's my story so i'm on libitolol the only thing is with the libitolol is i find it to be really weird side effects i remember when i first took it like it gives me a really tingly scalp and i don't like that but it is what it is so i'm going to try and take it at night time to so i don't have to deal with the side effects in the day um but yeah so i'm on that now things should be fine i think my blood pressure should remain good now until we get to baby time but i personally don't think that i should go up to 40 weeks that's i i was always told with your thyroid problem with your preeclampsia history with your high blood pressure you should be induced at 37 weeks but this hospital doctor said i should go till 40 but maybe now after this they'll change their mind i don't know i'll keep you guys informed but baby's still in there she's still cooking she's good she's um I'm getting excited now um but i don't want to be going through that again because that that was not nice um but yeah so the reason i said about the floaters was because i'm just noticing today and i've only took like two libitolols and the floaters are already dying down like i literally got one there but the rest is like it's going like in my eyes it's completely going so yeah never ignore like never ignore how you feel um even if you do feel like a burden like i said to them i said like I, there's a few things i haven't mentioned to you guys because i just feel like i don't know i just feel like a bit of a burden she was like never feel like that so that's my update with you guys <laughs> happy tuesday um what do we have here i think this is my medicine exciting um but we are just having a cozy day at home i have some clothes to show you guys that i've been sent Ooh, we have lots of medicine. <laughs> okay, so we have aspirin, folic acid, levothyroxine. Yeah, perfect. That's what I needed. So I get my medicine delivered actually from Lloyd's Direct, I think it's called. And it works out really well for me. Um, so yeah, they've just told me to take it pretty much easy now. Try to keep my blood pressure down. Um and keep chugging away is that that's mummy's drink you've got your own drink baby girl can mummy have some thank you mummy have some water <sighs> so cheeky so there's not really much to talk to you guys about right now um i'm going to show you some clothes that i've been sent here you go bubs so i have worked with this brand before you guys know this is not sponsored at all they've just sent me it in like a gifted blog post so i have to write a blog post for them but they sent me some clothes so th i'm not even i'm like i'm not told to talk about it on here but i wanted to show you guys because um i probably won't be able to wear it for a while <laughs> but i'm looking forward to postpartum hopefully being able to wear it and i definitely want to drop some babe like some weight after giving birth this time knowing that i'm 
never getting pregnant again this is our last baby i want to get down to a weight that i'm happy with i think when you're pregnant though you just have to you have to just enjoy it you can either like yeah i've been to a point not eating too much crap but then i want to enjoy my pregnancy i don't want to like it, it can be very hard pregnancy so the least you can do is enjoy what you want and yeah i get cravings so anyway so they sent me across these joggers um i got a size 12 because i know that i'll fit in them after um but at the moment i think i'm in like 12 14 but they are so thick and they're really nice quality so they're just like these elasticated joggers and they have pockets which really makes me happy um so they sent across them they have sent across what else did they send across i think this is like a summary kind of thing so they sent across this here which is okay so <laughs> wow they are pretty see-through um so we have some like cycling shorts perfect careful honey there's a table there um with this like band what is this called bandu bande band bandu i don't know, know what it's called this thing here which is not for whilst i'm pregnant <laughs> that wouldn't look right um but i think it looks really nice under like um a cardigan or something like that so i am very grateful femilux for sending that across i've worked with them many times um, but I'm really looking forward to wearing these joggers. But I'm feeling so cosy right now. It's so nice. This weather is... Oh, I love it. I know it's like cold. And some people are probably like, oh, I don't like the cold. But to me, when you're pregnant as well, like this weather is just perfect. Yeah. I love being cosy and like jumpers and all snuggly with a cup of tea or a hot chocolate. I just love this time of year um because it's not too cold like winter and it's not hot which is perfect like my window's open because i like it's like cold but not cold and you've got like a bit of fresh air so that's what i'm doing i've been watching a bit of my family you guys know i love my family it's just the best show ever it is just so funny and calming and we watch it all the time me and liam but at the moment, she's watching Hey Dougie. She loves it. Um, so I have to... I'm thinking of making some lunch. I'm actually quite hungry. It's 12 o'clock. Um, uh, I've just ordered Jade's birthday present. Um, I've just had a notification saying that that's coming. Um, but I have a few emails to go through um i'm gonna make something to eat and get a cup of tea i think um i need to do a blog post and i did a little tidying up yesterday so i'm gonna show you guys the plan for the house so we're actually planning on changing like our decor so over there is what we're kind of going with excuse that towel that's my hair towel from last night um but over here i'm pretty happy with this so um brian got us this lovely tv unit which i really love and i want this color kind of throughout the house so if you can see because i can't be bothered to get up but over there we got this little pumpkin ornament from primark home and i just think that is so cute in that tray um, and then I got a neon candle sent to me. You guys may have seen that in the vlog. Love that. Love the TV on the wall. That is just perfect for us and for having Olivia. Um, so, basically, what we're thinking of doing is getting a corner sofa. So, the corner in this corner here and back. Um, because I want to be able to, like, put my feet out. Um, and then Liam can do the same. Like, so we'll get corner that will go here. And then, no wait, I don't know actually. We might get a corner to come out here and then get a puff here for him. Or, 
obviously the other way around we're not sure yet um but i really want to be able to like put my feet up royal mailer bag um and then tomorrow no not tomorrow when liam's off he's gonna put the prints up on the wall so i'm gonna have one here and then i'm probably gonna have the rest of them behind here there's we are going to um i'm gonna put We've changed the bed around, like, because I think, I'll show you guys another time, but I think the bed looks better the way it is now. And then we're going to put some, like, drawers at the end of the wall um, with our TV above it. And then I've kind of got rid of my filming space because what it is, is I, I don't have the time to film, like, sit and film like that. Um, and with a toddler i feel like the toddler is the hardest stage like for me personally um i mean the newborn stage just flew by but obviously i wasn't there for most of it some of it but i feel like olivia at this stage is quite hard work um and i can't go upstairs and sit and film until she starts nursery um but then even that even so, we, even when she's in nursery I've got a baby, I'll have a newborn. So I've decided to get rid of my filming area and just have a nice bedroom, like a clear bedroom with bedside tables and just it to be nice and clear. And then I can film down here, like it's not a problem. I can sit at the table and film hauls, we can vlog. Um, I'm never gonna do makeup again on this channel because I don't wear it, you guys. There's no point in me doing it. I don't wear it. I literally wear everyday makeup, if that, or I just wear nothing. Because, I don't know, I just I just don't have the time to sit and do makeup. I've said this before, I've changed my channel around so many times. But, <laughs> this year and next year, I just want to do, like, what I want. I just want my channel to be exactly what i want share all the things i love like i love my cats snugs and luna i love my kids you're coming soon <laughs> um you know like i just want to share my life with you rather than makeup because i don't buy it i put all of our extra money goes into the kids like olivia um so yeah i got rid of it got rid of my alex drawers um i'm obviously going to keep my ring light and my tv monitor because one day i hope that we can buy a house that will have an, a room where i can do my filming but obviously with two kids you it's just you need the space i need the space um so yeah we're just becoming a little bit more minimal trying to anyway um so we're trying to become a little bit more minimal so i'm getting rid of her kitchen um i also need to go through her toys and donate quite a bit because she's got so much um but i don't know if i should wait until the baby's kind of like a few months old maybe six months and then i can get rid of yeah once the baby's grown up i can get rid of all the baby stuff you know which will be brilliant because I can donate it to someone that needs it or give it to someone or whatever. Because um, we are not having any more. We have decided. My health cannot take it and two is the perfect amount for us. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys because it's been on my mind a lot. About how, how it's going to be with two kids. It just feels weird. Like I keep thinking... It must be such an adapt, it must, it must be such an adjustment to like, having two, having two, I feel like Olivia at this age is, is hard enough, um, but I'm really excited, I'm so excited for her to have someone to play with, I'm so excited for her to have a brother or sister, well sister, I'm so excited for her to have a sister, and just for us to expand our family. But yeah, like it's always in the back of my mind, like how weird is it gonna be in a few months there's gonna be a baby here with my big baby, you know? It's, it's just weird. 
I just think what's she gonna look like? How are they gonna get along? Are they gonna interact at first? Like, I don't know. Um, and then there's the cats, like how are they gonna be? It's exciting, it really is. And you know what I love as well? The fact that we're having a baby around the same time as Olivia because oh, I'll never forget how special December and the whole of the new year was with, with having a baby. It was just, it went by really quick because every day merged into one when you have a baby, but it's just going to be special. Christmas is going to be really special because the baby's coming. So I'm due on the 3rd, or oh, they changed it again, I don't even know. Um, I'm due on the 3rd of January, but they seem to think the baby will come before that because of my blood pressure and stuff. So we could be looking at Christmas like, oh my God. How exciting. Other than that, the symptoms I have are pretty much the SPD is killing me. The pain down there is just ridiculous. I was telling you guys, because I've had an infection in my pelvis, I'm going to get more pain. But the SPD is just like, it's shit. It really does ruin this part of the pregnancy for me. Because everything else is fine. I'm managing. Obviously, I'm uncomfortable and I'm massive. But... The rest of it is really enjoyable. So if I didn't have SPD, I think I'd be like really over the moon. But it's so painful. It just feels like you've been whacked and kicked and bruised in the bits and the belly. Like it's just uncomfortable. So I am struggling to walk a little bit. But in the day, I never sit about. I'm always cleaning. I'm always tidying up. I'm always doing something. Um, and I feel like the morning's the worst because I'm stiff from bed. But once I get going, I feel a bit better. So, um, but today I've just kind of really got like an admin day. I want to catch up with some stuff. I want to try and get some washing dry. Um, but yeah, let's go make a cup of tea because I'm just chatting away here. But I hope you're enjoying the cosy day. I hope you've got a cup of tea. Or I hope you've got hot chocolate with whipped cream because then I'd be jealous. Because I love Costa and Starbucks. I love... I love coffee shops. I just love hot chocolate. <laughs> I'm still sat here. <laughs> still sat here. Oh, why is like my motivation just going? I get up so early with Olivia. No, my motivation. My motivation's just gone by 12. Not good, not good at all. Anyway, I forgot to tell you guys, I ordered some really nice bits from Asda for Olivia. Not for, yeah, for Olivia. I haven't got the baby anything yet. But we ordered some really nice, I ordered some really nice bits yesterday. They're coming on Saturday. Um, let's, let's move here. So I'm just sat yawning. Yeah, so I forgot to tell you guys, I ordered some really nice bits for Olivia from Asda. We have literally, or I, but we have literally brought Olivia up in Asda's clothes. Like, it's the best. I Primark, Asda, Morrison's, is it Nutmeg, I think they're called. It's just so good. Um, it really doesn't bother me about buying, like, really, really expensive things. Because the thing is, is they're out of it so quick. It's like shoes. We... <laughs> We really want to get her some like Nike trainers, but like she just comes out of shoes. She just grows out of shoes so, so quickly. So it's like, what's the point? So anyway, I got some really nice bits. We got her um, like a little jumper and leggings set. Really nice, like mint green. I'm really into that at the moment. Like unisex colours. I got her this Christmas jumper with Minnie Mouse on it. Um, what else did we get her? We got her a pack of leggings, just got her a few bits, but I'll show you guys in the next vlog whenever it comes, Saturday hopefully. Um, but I've just cleaned, and I haven't showed you, my Mrs. Hinge cups. Three pounds. Have you ever bought these? We got these ages ago. Three pounds in Tesco's. Love them. Just absolutely love them. I just love the fact that 
they're so minimal i've just done a quick clean in the kitchen because it was a bomb site i just don't know how it happens so i'm gonna make a cup of tea um and then i think i'm gonna make some food i'm actually quite hungry i need to do a food shop actually quickly but i've just cleaned this hoover because it's stopped it's kind of stopped working like it's making this really like <laughs> noise like when you put it on it's the swan hyper clean i prefer the hetty um and i use that but it's hard to lug about when you're pregnant even when i'm not pregnant so what i do is we leave hetty upstairs because the cats are messy with their litter in the bathroom um, so I can just whiz that around upstairs. Um, so I want this working really. So I can kind of just whiz around the lounge and the kitchen. I did a little research on it. And apparently you have to like unblock it and wash it. So I've done that. Look at all this. Like do you guys realise how many times a day me and Liam when he's here like picks up her toys do you know what she just likes to get them out she doesn't even play with them she just likes to get them out and spread them everywhere like the lego has to come out everything has to come out but we really want to get her a toy box because that is not sufficient um i want to get her i really like them toy boxes that are like baskets but they've got a picture of like bears on them with the ears like the rope bear baskets they're really nice but they're just so pricey for the big ones um, or I'd like to just get her a nice big white toy box, but I desperately, desperately will be putting that on her Christmas wish list from people because, or when we get it or whatever, because it is seriously becoming a mess. Um, but yeah, that's that. So I'm looking forward to sorting that, but that's, that's the mess that you have to deal with in these vlogs because I do have a very, very messy toddler, very messy um i cannot wait to be wearing these in the autumn how nice are these with some leggings and yes guys we are going pumpkin picking i'm so excited but the place that we wanted to go where we are is closed this year so we've got to find somewhere else that's like really good as well um but yeah everything you wouldn't think i tidy like you would just generally I mean, I'm sure people just think she's just a messy cow. She doesn't tidy her house. But I tidy up all the time. But she just gets everything out. I mean, this was all clear. And she's just got all of that out. Um, she's put that there, which doesn't belong there. The cats are quite messy as well. How do people have these perfectly clean homes with kids? I'll just never get it. But anyway, I need a cup of tea. I've been chatting so much. I keep getting nosebleeds um from this pregnancy that's why i'm sniffing all the time but cup of tea wanna be free of this heart yeah wanna feel your arms around me i need you more I need you here more than i would like to admit let's forget about tomorrow yeah, should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time? I remember that it's over. Yeah, you never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So I Really bad like she prefers crisps like she likes snacky things so she's got cheddars i've given her some grapes still won't eat them given her cheese um, and she's got jam sandwiches and then she can have a yogurt after come on man you want to have some lunch i think about you a lot it's almost like i can't stop can't stop yeah yeah knew that this would happen yeah you would find a new distraction i need you more need you here more than i would like to admit can we let go of tomorrow yeah it's a lovely little lunch cup of tea 
tea. You saw my sandwich, what I put in it. Grapes and kiwi. Don't say I'm not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Watching my family. Hi everyone. So I'm just editing the vlog for tonight. I want to get it up today, like this evening. Just so it's like an actual day with you guys. Like you're spending the actual day on the day with me. Um, so we are just watching a little... What is this, darling? Coco Melon. Love this one. Um, we're watching that. Um, we're going to do some reading in a minute. Um, I'm just finishing editing this vlog. And then I think I'm going to do a bit of tidying up. What's new? Um... I've got a few things to do in the kitchen. I need to put some boxes away. Um, I have been thinking. Olivia's got a toy box in her bedroom. A big one. A brown basket. Like a hamper basket for what I was given when I had her. Um, so I'm going to bring that downstairs and put all her toys in that. Because that down there is just not working. So. But anyway. I. It's 3 o'clock. Liam's not going to be home till 8 so i've got a few hours to get a few things done um but i think i'm going to probably check in with you guys when i put the toys away in the new box um but i'm just editing as i go along just so it's not as like so much work to do later um but we're just having a really really nice chilled day i was gonna go to the park with her but it's actually really cold um and raining so we won't do that we will do some reading instead um but yeah hope you guys are enjoying the day whatever you're doing i'm just editing just doing a few emails i need to chase up something very important so yeah i'll see you guys soon okay. guys i have sorted her toys out into this box here so she's pretty much got everything in there and um, there's a few bits that have to go upstairs but um she's got all of her toys she's got her lego there she's got her buggy she's got that drawing thing um and then them over there have got to go upstairs i can find a home for them and then them bits on the stairs need to go upstairs as well so all good you guys i am pretty much gonna just do some stuff on my laptop and then i'm gonna do that tidying up that i said i was gonna do so i might as well end the vlog here today we're gonna have chicken pasta bake so liam's gotta go to a shop tonight to get a few bits in 
so he's not gonna be home till late so there's no point in me like holding out till then so i'm gonna end the vlog and s careful and start editing um and get that ready for half seven tonight so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um i hope i can continue to um take you guys along with me during this pregnancy journey because hopefully things are are going to be okay now i'm on this medication but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog let me know down below if you did please subscribe it would mean the world to me it just really helps my channel out and i'll see you guys in the next one bye